Angel Brock. You just can't get enough of me, can you, man? Well, I mean, I don't blame you, but I got, like, such a weird-looking face. I mean, I'm surprised anybody can handle this seeing this face, this stupid face, and this stupidity that I have to do with every single video. But I appreciate your support trying to keep this channel going, even if you're, like, the only person I ever even cares to come in the comment section. So, anyway, as you suggested, because you're the only person that, that cares, we're doing the King's Cross Station Fire 32 years later. So, without further ado, to those at yeah. GoFundMe Fund for helping make this video possible. More on that shit. at the end of the video. It should be happening to the too fat. Sometimes a small inconvenience can turn into um, a massive me, problem if ignored. Much like how a small would, smoldering cigarette on a couch can turn into a raging blaze in minutes. Ten minutes ago, we were looking at a football game. I now look at a sad and tragic sight. The ambulance is beginning to arrive. Sadly, such a disaster has happened in King's Cross Station. dangerous, scary, and people probably died. That was cool, though. We're still on trains, right? November 18th, 1987. It's the Christmas show. Don't you do this to me, Ad. Subtract. I want you to subtract. I don't care about free online school. I don't care about crowdfunding, free online courses, free online college courses, or co co crowdfunding sites. I'm choking up my Stopping scene. Ah! King's Cross is a station on the London Underground nicknamed The it. Tube. Five tube lines serve eight platforms at King's Cross. Millions of passengers go through the station every day. Once off the train, passengers go up on escalators, at the time made of wooden steps, into the ticket hall and the streets of London above. At around 7.27 p.m., an electronics engineer named Philip Squire goes up on the escalator for the Piccadilly line. He obeys tube etiquette by standing on the right-hand side. He then noticed a strange glow coming from below the steps of the escalator. It could be a maintenance worker shining a flashlight at the steps, but just to make sure, he tells a tube employee and shows him where he saw the glow. However, from the angle they're at from the top of the escalator, they just can't see the light. So Squire moves on. However, later on, like, a man that, hits like the that. emergency stop button on the same escalator. You know, a British nice police officer like, goes to investigate to like, see what's somebody, wrong. He then spots a tiny candle-sized flame on the wall ah! steps. It's nothing new. Small fires like this do tend to happen from time to time on the aging tube system. However, uh, the officer calls the London Fire Brigade anyway and has the Piccadilly Line escalator, escalator blocked off. Of the police then later evacuate fire? the station as precaution. Firefighters soon arrive, including Fire Chief 45-year-old Colin two, Townsley. Out, out. Townsley's married with two Whoa. daughters at home and has been with the two. fire service for 23 years. He plans to retire early, buying a small rural holding in France. He goes to supervise the fire. The blaze has now matured into the size of a small campfire, but neither Townsley nor another fireman by the name of Robert Moulton are worried. Meanwhile, passengers continue to evacuate by the Victoria Line escalator to the ticket hall, the only one still running, and it leads to the same area as the Piccadilly Line one. Look at these constables. At 7.44 p.m., the fire is burned for about 15 minutes, and the flames are about a meter high. Everything seems calm despite the fire until... That is their purpose! Huge jet of fire roars up the Piccadilly Line escalator and bursts into the ticket hall, engulfing people in flames like a flamethrower. Black, no thick smoke pull pours into the streets like above. Firemen like Robert like Moulton scramble for fire hoses for what was once a small fire that has erupted into an inferno. No fire. Firefighters Stay fight small. their way into the ticket hall to look for survivors. 
Police officers stop passing trains and take injured passengers away from King's Cross. Some officers realize that by evacuating some passengers up the Victoria Line escalator, which leads to the same place the big Piccadilly Line one goes to, had inadvertently sent most of them into a certain death. One officer, Richard Cook Yelka, helps a burned man from the bottom of the Victoria Line escalator to a separate hallway that leads to the street, only to be stopped by a locked gate. Not a locked gate! That's the a cleaner thing spots Richard begging for the door to be opened, and the cleaner unlocks the door with a key. A hero well, who doesn't wear a cape. With your head? Some firefighters, not long after going into the ticket hall to fight the fire, stumble out, beaten back by the heat, fire, and smoke. That's what Robert Moulton happens to find Colin Townsley, who was in the ticket hall at the moment the fire erupted. He tries giving him mouth to mouth to you save know, his life. Like Eventually, firefighters that begin to finally get the fire under control and, and venture many, down many once again. If I was the right channel, something's not right about this. The fire is extinguished the next morning at 1.46 a.m. So However, all firefighters mostly fine is just dead bodies. 31 people die, including Colin Townsley, who later died at the hospital of smoke inhalation. A hundred more are severely injured. The youngest victim was just seven years old. But what could turn such a small campfire-sized fire into a raging inferno so fast. Lazy people. What happened? An investigation was launched. Investigators studied the burned hulk right of the now. ticket hall, the escalator, as well as the underside that remained intact. They find several steps on the bottom that have scorch marks littered all over them, 18 of them. If that's not enough, the scorch marks are all on the right hand side. So something kept triggering smaller fires. But what? Tube etiquette states that people walk up the escalator on the left while people stand on the right. Perfect opportunity to strike a match and light a cigarette. Smoking, however, has been banned on the tube for two years. However, it was never strictly enforced. The other well, fires harmlessly burned out, except Somebody this one. A fool. But then they find another shocking find. While there's no accelerant below the escalator, as the rollers and I mean, running I track like are made of metal, like, there is, however, going? tons of what grease around them. Now, grease alone is very hard to ignite, but when tons of kidling, grease like discarded tickets, candy wrappers, clothing fluff, dust, human hair, rat fur, rat! it makes it rather flammable. The it running track mess, seems mess, like it hadn't mess, been cleaned mess, since somewhere. being built during World War II. To prove this, they recreate the fire 51 days later on the lower Why? half of the escalator. The fire does grow, but the firefighters put it out before it grows big enough. They then turn anyway, to the stupid. intelligent minds of Oxford with computer modeling. They make a computer model of King's Sydney Cross. Oxford? Right However, while watching the simulator, something odd happens. Instead of the fire standing straight up, the flames lie down. At first, the computer modelers think they modeled something wrong. They thought they got gravity the wrong way. However, everything was correct. But then, they see the simulation show flames shooting up the escalator just like they did on the night of the fire. Something superheated the escalator steps. Super but what was it? There's only one way to find out. Recreate the we King's Cross out. fire for real, Our using the exact same the materials occupied. that day. July 1988, nine months after the fire. Investigators ran out a this field in the Derbyshire countryside by a local Shit. farmer and built a model Shit. of the King's Over Cross Darwin. Piccadilly what Line escalator and ticket do? hall using the exact That's same materials. Related. They rig cameras and temperature meters up to document the experiment. They'll start a fire, however, they won't intervene. <sighs> Once all is ready, the fire is lit, the investigators get to safety, and hold their breath, hoping the hard work wasn't for nothing. 
bullied and being joke on now. Six minutes in, the fire behaves like a normal fire, with the flames standing straight. It starts to look hopeless, but then one minute and thirty seconds later, they get what they're looking for. You see, not one, but two phenomena combine to create a fire like King's Cross. The thirty degree slope of the escalator has the effect of making the flames lie down, clinging to the steps, and the sides of the escalator box the fire in, creating a funnel-like effect that channels the heat within the steps, preventing them from escaping. Uh -huh. As the fire spreads up the incline, it pushes a wave of heat and gases that okay, superheat 20 this. meters of steps above. Seconds later, the steps reach a critical temperature in excess of 500 degrees Celsius and ignite the steps like a flamethrower up the escalator into the ticket hall, burning Whoa! anything in its path. It's a kind of thing no scientist ever witnessed before, and investigators named this discovery <laughs> yeah, like the Trench movies. Effect. In the end, like, yeah. all wooden escalators are replaced with metal to reduce such a fire risk. London Underground started enforcing the smoking ban more strictly. 32 years have passed since this tragedy, but it was thanks to this accident that fire teams around the world are now fully aware and trained on the dangers of the trench effect for similar fires should they ever happen again in the future. I provide lots of content for a large audience for people of all ages, not just these documentaries, obviously. Unfortunately, as we all know, YouTube updated their term. Yeah, YouTube, whatever. Anyway, uh, I hope you like me, uh, react to this, and, uh, being on my phone afterwards. Okay, let me know if you guys want me to look at more videos, and yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, see you later!